Ajinkya Rani, thank you for talking to ESPN Cricket Info. Big year for India, World Cup coming up. What, are, what do you think are India's chances? I think personally, we have a very strong side. Uh, the cricket which we are playing recently, it's magnificent. Challenge uh, in World Cup will be to gather that momentum early and continue that. Uh, but I feel ICC tournaments, it's always uh, important to give your best each and every game. Uh, because each, I feel apart from India, New Zealand uh, is a very good ODI side and they actually do well in ICC tournaments, if you see their record. Uh, West Indies, unpredictable but dangerous team but, and also England. So, it's important to uh, think focusing on our strengths, uh, playing the cricket which you are playing right now and I think uh, be positive all the time. It's a very interesting format, two different format from the one you played in in 2015. So, those are your four then, you pick New Zealand, West Indies, England and India if you had to pick four. Yeah. Uh, who are the strongest contenders, the biggest threat for India according to you? Biggest threat, as I said, New Zealand definitely uh, because they always do well in ICC tournament and very good uh, ODI side, uh, if, if you see their batting and bowling, a uh, very good team. England, again, playing in England, it's, it's going to be uh, challenging, playing against England. And West Indies, as I said, uh, you never know about them. Speaking of the West Indies, yeah, you're right, you never know because we saw one team when they came to India when you all played. And we've seen a completely different team that's demolished England at home, historic series win for them. Your next test assignment, India's next test assignment is in the West Indies. Are you expecting a different challenge? It may not be as easy as it was when they came here. Definitely, I think it's, it's going to be a challenging series uh, in West Indies, against West Indies. But I felt when they came here, uh, their bowling attack was really good. Batting was slightly inexperienced. But if you see uh, the Shai Hope, uh, Shai Hope then uh, Hitmer, and all the, all the other batsmen, they are doing really well. So it, it is important to... I think, as I said, uh, they are unpredictable, but it's important to give respect to them. And if you, uh, if you just, if you are set, you, you can just go and back your game. Okay, let's talk about the Rajasthan Royals. Big season coming up, and I must say, I like the pink look uh, for the whole team. With, are you liking the new look? Yes, yes, loving it. Uh, okay, so tell me about the challenges ahead. Lots of learnings from last season. What are the challenges for RR this year? You're going to be continuing to lead them. So, what's the challenge for you? I think challenge is to uh, be consistent uh, uh, in T20 format especially because uh, players coming from all, all the different uh, places, all the different countries. It's important to stay together, stick together and as long as we are enjoying each other's success and we are backing each other, we are on the right track. So, I feel it's important to be positive as a team and be fearless. I mean, if you take a learning from last season, we know how big Josh Butler was for you all. Big challenge this year, World Cup year, Butler and Stokes not available for the entire duration. Of course, a lot of other teams have that, but is that something that you're going to have to factor or that you're worried about in any way that you're not going to have two of your key players for the entire season? See, that's later part of the tournament, but I feel uh, it's, it's good to have Josh, uh, Ben, Jofra uh, uh, Ocean Thomas, who oh, did really well against England. He bowled well in India as well. So, I think uh, we got a good bunch of guys, uh, some good experience plus youth. So, it's important to make uh, use of each and every individual, uh, guys who are available uh, up front. And I think, as I said, playing fearless cricket in T20 format uh, is very important. One international that we didn't mention, that of course you all didn't get to play with last season, is Steve Smith. It's a big IPL for him. He's back playing competitive cricket after you know what he's been through in the last year. But this is probably the most high-profile tournament he'll play. Thoughts on just playing with Steve ahead of that? I don't know if you've had any contact with him, but it's going to be a big role for you as captain to almost welcome Steve Smith back to high-profile cricket. See, firstly, it's good to have him uh, back uh, as, a, as a Rajasthan Royals player and Steve Smith, we all know, is a quality player and it's, uh, it's always good to have him in your team. Uh, he can give you uh, uh, very good things in fielding as well as in batting. Batting, we all know, but as a fielder, he's, he's brilliant and also to pick his mind. Uh, captain Australia, so to pick his mind will be very important. But it's good to have him and his his ability to win the match. Uh, we all know, so uh, we are pretty pretty happy about it. Okay, I remember one thing when we were analysing Rajasthan last year was we said even if Smith before Smith was ruled out of the IPL, there's Smith, there's Ajinkya, there's Rahul Tripathi, top of the order, lots of very good batsmen. But do they miss some power at the top? Do you think that's a fair criticism, or have you changed the way you play just ahead of this season? I, I believe people always talk about power, people always talk about uh, various things, but it's important to believe in your ability, believe your own own methods. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's not all about uh, 
uh, power hitting because someone has to play an anchoring role, someone has to play uh, uh, proper 20 over cricket and guys around uh, him can play a proper power hitting shots but I always uh, believed in my ability not only me but all the other guys as well I mean if you see Rahul Tripathi he, he also can play a big shot Sanju Samson can play a big shot so it's important to stick to your game yes you got to improvise uh, in T20 format but, but as long as you are focusing on your, your game uh, it, it matters does this sort of criticism irritate you when people say that strike rate is in March this that or do you not you don't really. buy into that no theory. not really okay brilliant uh, the new recruits for RR we are waiting to see a lot of Ariman Birla, Shashank Singh, Riyan Parag, uh, Shubham Ranjane. The time, little time that you've got to spend, tell me a little about them and who you're looking forward to, who's likely to surprise us this season. See, I think uh, all the guys are equally talented. Uh, they've been doing really well uh, for their domestic teams and it's, it's going to be a great challenge for them to uh, learn from each and every individual, all the internationals and playing against them, playing with them, it's a, it's a great experience. So, I think all four of them, they are brilliant. I hate to name a particular individual. No, no, to be like that because one standout player, he looks good. He may or may not play. But no, but still, uh, I feel if I, if I give any uh, particular name, uh, okay. that guy, enough, that guy can be under pressure. So, I think... I think all four of uh, four of them, they are brilliant and uh, I'm really happy to have them. All right, and I noticed a quick leggy bowling to you. Was that Midun who was bowling to you in the center? Now, in the middle? No, no, no. Uh, a local guy from Mumbai. Oh, a local guy? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to wonder, I said I didn't see a... <laughs> no, but uh, they, uh, there are good uh, local bowlers in Mumbai. Yeah, I know. That, that we know. Yep. We both know. <laughs> okay, uh, speaking of leggies, Shane Warne has a different role with Rajasthan Royals this season, that of an ambassador. <laughs> what, what were you looking forward to working with? Well, How is that influence going to work out? I think it's going to be definitely a challenging role for Warney. Yeah. But uh, yeah, see, Warne, uh, anytime, I mean, it's, it's so good to have him uh, in, in the Royals camp. I'm sure boys will uh, go up to him, ask about his uh, experience, take, take some clues from him and I think uh, his different character definitely, Shane Vaughan, but yeah, good to have him. Alright, finally, big season ahead, expectations for RR, I'm sure you'll be wanting to make the playoffs, but biggest threat outside of that teams to watch out for according to you in the IPL? In the IPL, uh, I think Mumbai Indians, definitely, uh, RCB. Uh, looks a very good team but for us it's important to uh, play to our game as I always say that it's important to uh, back each and every individual it's a long tournament and I think being 23 to 25 players in one team it's it's important to stay together and it's going to be definitely up, up and down journey but as long as we are sticking sticking together and staying on the same page I'm sure uh, will do well. All right, I wish you all the very best, Sajinka. Big season ahead. Thanks for talking to ESPN Rick and Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.